Hey LEGO fans, it's John here from JB Bricks. You can follow everything we do at jbbricks.blogspot.com or subscribe to us here on YouTube. And today I've got a 2015 LEGO Bionicle set to review. It's set 70778. It's the Protector of the Jungle, 64 pieces, and it is recommended ages 6 to 12, but I don't know anyone who usually uses that. So, this is... The jungle protector, let me give you a 360 of it. Looks pretty good. This guy looks good from all angles, unlike some of the figures that are built from this system don't look as good. See, he's got the little vines growing off the legs. That looks pretty good. This figure just looks good from all angles. His bow looks good. If you're wondering how I'm turning him, we did get a turntable in. This is the first video, or the second video we recorded with a turntable, so it's pretty nice. So, now let's dig right in. Let's take a look at the figure. Okay, so here we are with the main figure of the set. This is where most of the pieces go in. I did remove his bow because the thing is huge. I'll go over that in a minute. But starting from the bottom of the minifigure, okay, not minifigure, wrong. He's got these nice looking silver feet that I, when were first introduced, I believe, in 2013. I believe was when they were first introduced, and they look pretty good. They're in silver here, and then spin around to the sides. It's also got these right here, which look pretty good too. And then spinning back, moving up, you got the yellow. I believe it's the second shortest ball joint. Then you move up, you get some nice transparent green armor pieces, which look pretty good. Zoom in on those. Not focusing. Camera not focusing. Camera's not focusing. But then you've just got some black there. You've got a black XT4 torso. I call it that because that's, I believe that's its official name, but that's just the set it was first introduced, I believe. Then you've got one of those new 2015 Bionicle armor pieces right there, which is awesome. It's in silver here, and the arms are exactly the same, at least the ball. These, the upper and lower part of the arm, is the exact same as the feet. All the same joints and the same armor, except this one just has the armor add-on and the hand instead of the feet. And then moving over, same thing except no armor add-on. Another armor add-on there. Maybe turn them around for you so you can see the back of the figure. So you can see the back of the figure there. So then moving up, he's got one of those head pieces that if you just tap, just fell over. That if you tap, <laughs> not wanting to stay up the feet, you kind of have to lean forward. He's got one of those things, so if you just push on it, the mask pops off. Camera's having a hard time focusing now. Put the helmet back on. So, yep, now let me show you his weapon. So here's the dude's weapon, and... He look, it looks very good. It's based on a bow, as far as I can tell. That is what it is trying to be. A, it's got one of these new rapid stud shooters, which I'll show in a minute. Looks pretty good all the way around. So, now let me show you it on the figure. So here the figure is in its best realistic bow po shooting pose I could get out of it. 
Now you could do kind of a crossbow style where you flip it like this. That's kind of where you're getting into crossbow style. But so if you haven't seen these rapid stud shooters, I'm just turn him around pretty fast. You just turn this right here and it's going to fire. So those things just went everywhere. I'm sure you saw him going off the turntable. You can see one right over there. So he looks pretty good with it. It's got these kind of lightning. They were first introduced with the Hero Factory Surge figure. They look pretty good. Let's zoom in on them real fast. Those pieces were first introduced with Surge. And giving it a close up of here. Camera, now focusing. Oh, you can see when I turn this, you can see the piece turning. That's what activates it. So, that's it for his weapon. So, here's the skull spider you get with this set. It's in the dark blue in this time. It looks pretty sweet. Let me tell you, I really like the molds of these skull spiders. And so you can move, you can pose his legs. Otherwise, that's like the only thing you can pose. So you can just move the legs and adjust them. So now let me show you this on the protector of jungle, the jungle. Okay, so in order to put your skull spider on your figure, first you need to press the little thing on the back, pop off the original mask here, which I'm just going to show you this really fast. It is very cool. It's got two different color plastics. I love the way they fused them into one. It's got like the trans green right here, and then the green here looks pretty good. Set that off to the side. Get more light back up here. And then you're just going to take your skull spider and attempt to place it on here. It takes a lot. You got to like fold the legs up. So, like, watch. You fold, put your legs there. You kind of fold it up into there and attach it. That's not going. So here we are, like three minutes since I cut the video to get the skull spider on. I got it on. And it takes quite a bit to get it on there. But the color does not go, none of the colors of these things go with the figure very well. But I think this one looks pretty good. I think this one looks awesome. Okay, so we've gone over everything on the set. It's a good set. It's 64 pieces and it's going for $10 US. That's a good amount, I think. And it's using the bigger pieces. So that is really cool. I think the whole set is cool. Let me know what you think in the comment sections below because I always enjoy hearing other people's opinions on the sets. I'm going to get back to building some more custom stuff and bringing you some more reviews. Thanks for watching.